Hello everybody, I am Jessica and I am happy to deliver a guest lecture exclusively for International Institute for Procurement and Market Research. In this session, I am going to speak about the 10 common 3PL mistakes. Before that, I hope you all know that 3PL stands for Third Party Logistics. The 3PL market is cluttered with niche competitors in just about every market. Freight Dynamics is a leading shipping and warehousing company in the USA and they have listed the 10 common mistakes to avoid when selecting a third party logistics provider. Provider. This is critical information for any business wanting to outsource their warehousing and product fulfillment to a third party provider. Number one, not sharing any future volume estimates. Sharing targeted volume always gets you better negotiated rates. Negotiate upfront before you start any business relationship by providing all the estimated facts you know of, such as your freight shipping patterns, how much warehouse storage you'll need, which warehousing services you may utilize, and so on. Number two, create difficult stock keeping units, which can be confused. Create easy to use stock keeping units and descriptions. Abbreviations become redundant and can cause picking errors. Keep it simple. 3. Not asking them for ideas or feedback. Many times, customers not familiar with kitting, assembly, and fulfillment don't provide the whole picture up front and get charged more for being unorganized. This is the warehousing companies specialize in and do day in and day out. They are the experts. Tap that free advice. Also, don't ever be afraid to ask questions. This is your inventory. Number 4. Not viewing them as a partner. Your fulfillment 3PL is a direct extension of your company. Select a company who mirrors your same values and attitudes. 5. Not sharing requirements up front. Many companies such as Target, Best Buy, Walmart, and Shop NBC have very specific case pack and labeling requirements, which need to be followed or serious chargebacks can occur. Provide your fulfillment services with this information in full before beginning any projects with large company end users. 6. Nickel and diming them on every issue. Don't throw out the baby with the bathwater here. Negotiate on the bigger items such as monthly storage or order fulfillment. Labeling, for example, requires actual labels, ink, and labor. It's a service that needs to be covered. 7. Using cheap packaging. Your carton packaging says a lot about the quality of your brand. Using two ply cartons over one ply costs about the same, but provides a much better protection in the shipping environment. Also take advantage of having your logo and description printed right on your cartons. Many claims arise when customers use insufficient packaging. Always invest in the best possible custom packaging depending on the fragility of your product. If it is damaged, there's no doubt you will be in reimbursed, and the odds of it getting damaged drop considerably. 8. Use cheap shipping carriers. This may save you a buck or two up front, but it always bites you in the long haul. Break bulk freight shipping carriers handle your shipments many times before it is delivered, sometimes resulting in damage to your product. If they don't honor claims and destroy your product, then what have you saved? Insist on reputable carriers that go direct, not carriers with numerous hubs they consolidate with. 9. Don't renegotiate when your business model changes. Many businesses change over the years as a client needs change in the ever-changing world. Don't be reluctant to send your provider a request for a proposal with a few other reputable companies to keep your pricing in check. 10. Leave out descriptions and reference number with new inbound receipts. Remember, garbage in equals garbage out. Provide the stop keeping units, description, quantity, case pack, number of pallets, and job number for each pallet you send over in an easy to read packing list. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching.